What is up guys, Sondran here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly fix the dents in your car the professional way. Dings my car, takes a huge ding right here. Obvious, came from his door. You can see the height of this ding matches directly to this, look at this, right there. This is why I can't have nice things, guys. Wow, it's gone. It's like magic. So you guys know I went to Toronto. Of course, the one time I go to Toronto and park, somebody dented my door. Now, thankfully, it didn't go into the clear coat. It didn't actually nick out any of the paint. So many of you, you may have dents in your car and you think, shoot, do I need to repaint the panel? How expensive is this going to actually be? So you guys can see we got the light on it and what I thought was actually maybe not so much of a big dent, it's actually deeper than I thought, absolutely. And so you could see, obviously it was a door, the leading edge of a door and just whacked it right there. But you know, this sucks. This is on my 2023 Lexus. My heart broke, you guys know on uh, the videos. So that's it right there. Hi, uh, my name's Brent at uh, Precision Dent Repair Burlington. We're here with Sandrin's Lexus. As you've seen, we have a bit of a door ding there. What we're gonna try and do today is uh, Remove that paintlessly. No sort of paint work is going to be involved. We're actually going to go inside and slowly massage out the dent with rods and tools and uh, not going to have to do any sort of body work to this beautiful 23 Lexus. So what I'm looking for is basically depth and size of the damage to start with. Um, we can actually repair quite large dents, but it does depend on severity. So the technician who's doing that um, really has to take a look at that damage and see if it's something that qualifies for this type of uh, fix. Also, we look for paint damage. If there is significant paint damage, customer white might not want to get it fixed with us because it requires paint work anyways. Everything that we do is non paint work. So um, yeah, that's something to consider if you have a dent and you're wondering whether our process would work for you. And so how do you know if there's actually paint damage versus paint transfer? So that's something that takes a little bit of elbow grease. Maybe you might have to um, get a polish, see if it wants to come off, use a uh, microfiber and gently polish it. See if any of that transfer comes off. You'll know if there's paint damage if you see a physical chip or metal showing or something along those lines. Um, but if you're unsure, bring it in and we can take a look at it and that way we'll know for sure if it has any sort of paint damage or maybe minimal paint damage that you can live with um, touched up or something like that. So we can actually repair anything from the smallest door ding. So I've had customers come in with um, dents that are a couple millimeters, just the smallest little thing. Um, and then we've had dents fixed that are the majority of the size of a door, like a um, couple feet diameter. Holy, no way! Yeah, as long as the <laughs> dent, as long as the dent isn't through that paint, and as long as the door isn't too severe. But again, that's a, a technician's um, judgment call on that. But yeah, I've seen repairs come in that are. Um, you know, in the range of this size type of thing. So it, it, it can be quite large, it can be quite small, but any of it is fixable, generally speaking, as long as the paint is not damaged. So Brent's now gonna go ahead and find out where exactly he's gonna approach this repair, but the fact that you can do such big repairs on what most people would think, oh, I gotta get that fully done, redone, pay thousands and thousands of dollars. This is a much more economical, and to be honest with you, the best solution to do it because you never want to go ahead and use a hammer when you don't necessarily need one, right? So in this case, it's about finding the right type of repair for the right type of damage that you have. And so in this case, with my little parking lot ding, he's going to be able to go ahead and do that. So with this uh, particular dent right here, we're going to try and access it through the window first of all. Um, a common misconception with this job is dents get sucked out, vacuumed out, pulled out, stuff like that. But in reality, probably 80 to 90% of dent repair happens from the inside out. It's kind of an interesting thing. We have to find a way in there with specialized metal tools. They're all different shapes, sizes, and um, be able to slowly massage the metal back to flat very, very carefully. So I'm gonna right now just take a few different tools and see what fits best to get to our uh, dent here. This is a window protector. Um, so we're not going to touch the glass inside this door. Um, not going to hurt anything inside there. I, I appreciate that you guys are thinking about that, right? So making sure you're protecting the customer's vehicle while you're repairing it. All right, we're going 
get something different. So what I'm trying to do is just try and fit between um, a brace and the dent itself. So inside the door, there's obviously bracing. So if there was an accident or a crash, you're safe inside the car. Unfortunately, this dent, well, not really unfortunately, but there is a brace that's right here over top of where that dent is. So I'm getting a couple specialized rods that are gonna fit in between that brace and the, and the outer layer of metal and allow me to slowly, slowly work at the center of that dent. So I'm uh, doing a lot of little tiny pushes right where this dent is. Um, there's no machines involved, everything is done by hand. So I have to be incredibly accurate and all the technicians here are at hitting exactly little tiny points where I wanna hit this dent. So you have to know where the tip of your tool is here exactly down okay, to so the smallest Okay, so you're actually bit. massaging that now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna do a few little pushes. Okay, and we can see that guys. Gently and carefully. Yeah, just hitting certain sections of it. It's not a quick process. Dents don't just pop out. It's a, it's a very slow procedure. So you gotta, gotta work the metal for quite a while. So something else that has to happen is with dents, everyone generally thinks the dent is just below the surface, but a lot of times there's high metal around that dent. It disguises itself because your eye's drawn to just the deep part. But what we have to do actually is uh, use various plastic punches, tips, um, and I actually have to knock down some of the metal around the dent to enable me to get the middle out. It's a bit of a back and forth game or process. So these are some of the punches that we use. Um, everything's plastic, leather, stuff like that. Um, so you're not gonna damage the paint, although it seems kind of aggressive. Um, we're not gonna damage anything. And uh, when we're all said and done, you'll never know that there was any sort of tapping going on. No! Scary. <laughs> For people that, people are always like, what are you doing to my car? <laughs> like, don't worry. You guys can actually see Brant is wiggling around the chip area. And so he's like massaging it out. Is this basically a massage? This is the version of a massage for a car. <laughs> exactly, yeah, it's a- uh, Acupuncture. Exactly, <laughs> just, just slowly working. Obviously we don't want to disturb the paint itself. So we're going to go slow enough that we do not cause any sort of paint damage. And by the way, you guys are seeing this and this is as bad as a, a dent could look like. It did not look this deep actually in the regular daylight. Under these lights, you really see the dent very clearly. So I think that's obviously very important. They have so many of these very high powerful lights and it's crazy, but you slowly see the dent start being massaged out. Wow, so he's still working on it, but look at that. You can already tell it's harder to even see it now, even under this light. I would maybe argue it might not even be visible in just regular daylight, but you can see already a lot of work has been done to have it come out and level out. So Brent's gonna do a little bit more work to get it perfect, but this is almost 90% of the way there. So Brent's doing some amazing work. The dent's almost out. He's just doing the fine touches now to get it perfect, but a dent like this, like maybe you get in a parking lot or something, is about an hour. Obviously jobs that are bigger, that are the size of a football, that takes more time, but it's remarkable to see it happening live. And you guys see it again in the video in 4K. But he's now just basically making minor, minor, you know, touches to it now to get it to that perfection level. But it's pretty cool to see this happen. A lot of the times people think, look, I got a dent, I'm gonna have to replace the panel. You don't have to do that. You wanna make sure that you do the repair in the right way without the bluntness of, let's say, going paying thousands of dollars for a repair when you can get something more economical. And it's actually better. I would hate to repaint a panel on my new car just because I got some damage or a dent into the vehicle. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna turn out. We're gonna see it right now under the lights and I'm really pumped up. It looks like an amazing job already. We've been up and down a couple times and uh, we're just gonna do a final last bit of tapping to get the middle as flat as humanly possible. And then we're gonna do a little polish and uh, see what it looks like after that. Wow, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's like magic. 
Okay guys, this is pretty cool. Can you actually find it? So again, 4K, can you actually find it? The truth is, I can't see it from this angle at all. So we have this light behind it here. I, I can't make it out. I don't know if you guys can make it out. I can't from this angle. So I'm gonna kind of move up top to see if I can see it. Okay, I kind of see it. It's kind of here, kind of. It's like, it's like the orange peel is just there. But it's, otherwise you can't even notice it. And that's like from one angle under the strobe light. This is like a perfect repair. Wow, that's amazing. And again, we got really lucky here. Again, it didn't penetrate into the paint. Brent went ahead, massaged it out, had to do that leveling and flattening. And of course, a lot of times paint transfer, right, can look like something really bad. But in this case, it was a little bit of a scuff, hit it over with the polish and it's good to go. In Sandrin's case, this is a pearlescent white paint too. And once you paint a panel, many of you guys know on a pearlescent paint job, it never looks quite right. So a lot of people would rather uh, get a paintless repair done if the option's possible. So texting us pictures can give an idea whether or not it's fixable or not fixable, or you can stop by and we'd be happy to take a look at it, obviously too. Maybe on the internet you've seen glue pulling where you glue a tab on and pull. We do use that process for many reasons. A lot of the finishing is done with physical tools like how Sandrin's was behind very, very slowly. These are some of the glue tabs that we use for uh, pulling dents. And then um, these are some of the rods that we use. You'll see a whole bunch of them here. Um, anything from little tiny rods, we have guys that little tiny thin things for getting into, into uh, panels, super tiny like that. And I have rods up on the wall that are six feet long and three quarters of an inch diameter. Just great big, huge things for truck beds and stuff like that. So it varies greatly. So guys, I'm super happy with how this turned out. Honestly, one of the biggest things for car enthusiasts, when this happens to your car, honestly, I just felt like someone just gutted my heart. Coming here to Precision Dent Repair in Burlington, Brent did such a phenomenal job on the vehicle, walked you through kind of how to do it the professional way. And one thing I think I really need to be clear about, they got everything set up here to do this extremely well. They're the pros on PDR. You don't wanna to go to some place that does it on the side. They may not do a proper job. They have all the right tools to professionally do this job in place to deal with all of the biggest dents, kind of the biggest damage that you can ever imagine, and to even some of this minor stuff. Well, minor in the grand scheme of things. To me, it was heartbreaking, right? And so that's why I immediately came to these guys and they've done such a phenomenal job. So I'll show you guys what it looks like out in the sun, but if you have any questions for me or Brent or this team, leave them in the comment box down below. Make sure you like this video and also make sure you guys subscribe. Over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. So can you see it? I can't, it's gone. It's 100% gone. Look at that, guys. We're out here in the sun. It's Gonzo's. Gonzo's. Ugh. All of my stress has just melted away. Yes, and I know it's a first world problem. I get it, but you know what? These hairs are not gonna turn any whiter on my head, I'll tell you that.